A fairly placid cat, the affectionate and sweet Burmilla is easy to get along with and requires minimal care. The Burmilla cat breed is of medium build, similar to Burmese cats, with a sturdy, well-muscled body and a strong straight back. The female is much smaller and daintier than the male. The head has a gently rounded dome, a wedge-shaped muzzle, and wide-set ears. The expressive eyes may be any color from gold through to green. The coat is short and close lying with a pale undercoat and even tipping, darker color at the tip of the hairs, over the rest of the body and a distinct M marking on the forehead. The Burmilla brings together aspects of the Burmese and the Persian into one sweet, friendly package. He is quietly affectionate and gentle but more extroverted than the typical Persian. He is adventurous but a bit of a klutz, so put away breakables when he is around. Burmillas with shaded coats. In the shaded pattern, about one third of the hair shaft is shaded, which is why the shaded cats look darker. Colors in both tipped and shaded patterns include black, brown, lilac, blue, chocolate, cream, red, and tortoiseshell. They look much like the European Burmese with a gently rounded head that tapers to a short, blunt wedge, medium size to large ears with slightly rounded tips that tilt forward a bit, large eyes that can be any shade of green, and a medium-sized body with slender legs, neat oval paws, and a tail that tapers to a rounded tip. Burmillas remain playful into adulthood. They love their people, but they aren't excessively demanding attention. When a lap is available, though, the Burmilla is there. If you're planning to have these playful and active cats, you can get one of them on these reputable Burmilla cat breeders. Casanova Cats Burmillas They are a small CFA Antica registered hobby cattery located in Northeast Washington and breed quality Burmillas for showing, breeding, and pets. Their cats are raised underfoot in a loving home and eat an all raw food diet as nature intended. Once you receive your Burmilla kitten from them, the care and attention do not cease. They are always available to answer any questions or to assist you in the event the need arises. They encourage all of their adopters to keep in regular contact. They appreciate and look forward to receiving emails, cards, and letters with pictures so that they can watch their kitten grow with you. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Sacred Spirits Cattery Burmillas. Their goal is to breed healthy, strong, gentle, and beautiful cats, able to compete in world-class competition. Many of our cats are recognized as champions in CFA, ICFA, TICA, and WCF, and have often been victorious at shows sponsored by ICFA, CFF, TICA, WCF, and MFA. They test their cats for 5, FA LV, HK and GM2 and can certify that their cattery is free of all. They treat all of their kittens for parasites and worms, and vaccinate them at least twice for FVRCP. They weigh their kittens at least twice a day for the first month after birth, and subsequently every two weeks, in order to ensure that they are developing correctly. When they are three weeks of age, they begin to wean them, by introducing them to other foods and train them to use the toilet. They also teach them where it is acceptable to stretch their claws, not on the furniture, and get them used to have their nails clipped. All of their breeds are characterized by a wonderful disposition and all make great family cats. But they certainly also try to breed good show qualities into their cats, their future champions. For them, participating in cat shows is a true joy. Their foundation of Burmese comes from Australian lines. They register all of their kittens and cats with CFA, Tika, or both. All of their cats and kittens are bred for the indoors, but, when weather permits, they allow them access to a special outdoor run, where they can enjoy the fresh air and sunshine. They keep their kittens apart from other cats, except of course their mothers, while they are in their initial formative periods. Gradually, they give them access to the rest of the house, where they can learn to socialize. They think that it is vitally important to their development that they communicate with them often and treat each one as a member of their family, not as a product to be shipped off at the earliest convenience. Their cats and kittens get a lot of love and attention. They watch their health and work closely with their veterinarian to keep them healthy. They try to teach them correct behavior, but anyone who loves cats knows that they can be stubborn. They do not keep their cats in cages unless absolutely necessary, such as quarantine on a new arrival. Most walk freely about their house, which has enough room to keep the boys away from the girls when we are not ready for another litter. In this way, they encourage their socialization with people and with other animals, making them gentle and loving in return. You would not be making a mistake when buying a kitten from the Sacred Spirit Cattery. Their kittens are bred and raised to steal your hearts. They are wonderful in families with children and other pets. They do not like to be alone. 
If you have no other pets in your home, you might consider getting two kittens. It is not unusual for people to return to them after their first kitten for that very reason. Happy is a home with at least one cat. Erilyn Cattery Burmillas Erilyn Burmillas was scaled down in 2011. They now only have two active breeding girls so it might take a little while for them to provide you with your perfect kitten. However, they still strive to breed kittens with the best temperament and with lots of human love and attention. As you can see, they try very hard to update their website so that their kitten buyers are always informed of their kitten's development. They love to share their kitten stories, photos, and videos with their kitten buyers so that they too can be part of the kitten's growth journey. They strive to do at least one professional photo shoot with each litter of kittens so kitten buyers will have the opportunity to purchase professional photo portraits of their kittens. As they are a boutique cattery, they only produce a few litters a year. As a result, it is important for them to match their beautiful kittens with the right homes. If you would like to buy a kitten from them, they ask if you would kindly fill out our kitten inquiry form so they can help you determine if one of their kittens is suitable for your household. As they tend to match their kittens with those who are already on their waiting list, there is usually a short wait for a kitten. The approximate waiting time is usually around 6 to 12 months. Feel free to check with them as the waiting period can change from time to time. Best Cattery Best Cattery is owned by Kim and Philip Gobriel of Beaverton, Oregon. They have been breeding cats since 1983. They got into breeding cats with the idea to better the breed. They have always strived for clean health, personality, and longevity, with show quality as a bonus when they get them. They won't compromise the breed to get a fast win. They believe that outcrossing is the way to go in keeping the breed alive. They used to breed Abyssinians, both Normals and Silvers, Somalis, Egyptian Mouse, Manicoons for a very, very short time, and European Burmese. They breed the Burmillas and occasionally Burmilla Longhairs, also known as Tipped and Shaded Tiffanies in some organizations. Since they breed the Burmillas and have the earlier generations which they work with, they occasionally will have other patterns which pop up in the litters, such as selfs or solids, smokes, and silver tabby, spotted, classic, mackerel, and ticked. The gentle and playful Burmilla is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.